No, we're playing the trolley problem incorporated. Okay. That's what we're playing, which I'm turning on right now, right this very moment. Please use any footage or screen capture of the game in whatever way you like. I have no idea what this game is about. I have not looked at it. I have not looked it up. They stand with Ukraine. That's good. Your campaign will start after this screen. It is chat integration though, apparently. Keep your beta Whole Foods shots away from my children, you freak. Yeah, I'm grooming your children with turmeric shots. Okay, language, English, dyslexic font, no. Wiggle effect, sure. Invert image, no. CRT effect. <gasps> Critical race theory effect? What the fuck? It's got CRT, brother. We can't play this game, brother. What the fuck? I don't even know where to put my goddamn... Maybe I'll put it up here. What the fuck is going on? We got CRT in this game? Hell no. I need to turn it off. Thank God. Whew. Oh, the CRT effect kind of sucks anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, that's exactly... Hey, listen. Look at that. Look, look at that. Oh, all of a sudden, dog shit. I hate it. This is an interactive game, by the way. Turn off Wiggle or your Ableist. Go middle left chat a camel cover text. Voice sound music. All right, that all sounds good. Okay, we're going to do custom. Wait, co-op? There are options for how much you want to chat the effect the game. Do I say custom? Oh, and then I have to fucking click on... Okay, Twitch mode. Okay, got it. I'm going to do that. Streamer choice or viewer choice. Okay, are we doing viewer choice? Are we letting the viewers decide? I kind of love this. Okay, this is sick. Okay, wait, hold on. I got to authorize the game. Success! You successfully logged into the Twitch house and I've emailed now. Switch back to the game and start playing. Okay, how does this work now? How will streamers? Uh, how will the, the? How will chat decide? Wait, only twenty k viewers fell off. Well, guess what, buddy? You fell off. You are no longer in the motherfucking chat. How about that? Northern Lion did streamer choice. XUC did viewer. Both are good. Okay, I'm going to do viewer. The following game contains adult themes. Oh, no. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below, showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. I signed it. Whoa, what the fuck? Actions speak louder than Wait, why words. did this happen? Uh-oh. Welcome to Trolley Problem. Wait, what is happening now? What the fuck? Why did it... Bro, there is never a moment when I can, like, have an actual fucking game uh, work normally without it breaking down for no fucking reason. You know what I mean? Oh, let's do game capture. Maybe that'll be better. Okay. Well, there it is. That's fucking not working. Should I do... Wait, hold on. Stop voting, chat. Stop voting! Alt-Enter? No, it's not working. Um, getting smaller. Wait, oh, the twitchometer is not working anyway. I think it's like broken. Right?
borderless window mode here i'm gonna turn it off and then on again hold on sorry um we're gonna turn it off and then on again and it's gonna work i think i think i need to do window uh window mode or some shit bro wait bro it's on the left what is happening dude what the fuck this is not properly optimized at all what the fuck wait hold on maybe windowed mode dude no i'm not even kidding it's like crazy it's like broken hold on there's like it's on the other side okay i think no no this is good now windowed mode is gonna be good wiggle effect off no, it's it's fixed now. We're good now. It's like a little scuff, but not that bad. Custom. Twitch mode. Success, you've successfully logged on to Twitch. Because I turned off CRT, brother. Let's take a look. All right, yee yee, the baby. The following game contains adult themes. Okay. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below. That's rude. Shut up. Oh, what? Actions speak louder than what? words. Welcome to Trolley Problem, Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, integrity. You didn't pick viewer choice? Standard. Are you fucking serious? In mind, let's start your training. Wait, let's see. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people. Vote in the chat. Let's see if it works. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different. Yeah, it's working. Tracks. Twitchometer. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? Oh god! Chat's going crazy! Chat's going crazy! What do I do, chat? What do I do? What do I do here? You don't choose though, you choose the result. Fucking killed him. I'm pulling the lever. I'm pulling the lever! My lord, I'm pulling the lever. Oh. You're going to kill someone. This isn't how I thought I was going to start my day. I will be killing someone. My community is democratically organized and wanted to do a murder. The person will understand. Wait, let me see if I can put the chat on here. Where is the chat? God, hold on, hold on, chat, chatterino. It's to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. You agree? Just think a little more before acting next time. With 68.68% of players worldwide. Your choice picks everything while streamer choice is up to you. Okay, I like that. I want to do, uh, I want to still end up picking it. You can speed up the timer, by the way. But in the beginning of the game, I can't, right? I've killed one person today. Hold on. I was trying to... Um, the reason why you lost audio is because I was trying to fucking put... There it is. The chat. I wanted the chat to also be present here. One of those instances where, like, you definitely got to have that chat. Boom. There was an option to enable a fast forward button and said how long to wait for the vote. Okay, well, too late. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gonna get an awesome KD ratio in this game. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. 
More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Uh oh, what the fuck's gonna happen to Polly? A trolley is heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail what the and descend fuck? down the hill heading for the park's sandpit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? Uh... Uh... Okay. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. That sounds kind of... Chat? What the fuck? Chat? Okay, listen. If I pull the lever in this circumstance... I believe that Polly will have the wherewithal to avoid the oncoming train. But if I do not nothing... saving them just because they aren't as cute as Polly. All right. She must... She will be able to maybe move... Maybe the five are children. Or maybe all of them. I'm sure she'll be able to move out of the way. I'm sure she'll be able to move out of the way. Come on now, it's a massive trolley coming down. She'll be able to move. Achievement unlock, kill the child. What? Polly, get out of the way, Polly. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? Okay, I'm going to be real here. If Polly didn't fucking notice an oncoming trolley, then she probably wasn't going to become a doctor. Okay? So... We already crossed that bridge for her. You know what I mean? Let's continue. The end justifies the means. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He's a 30-year-old <laughs> secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him, apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Okay. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, okay. blocking its path. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Or let the train hit five people? I mean, dude, uh, 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 Tyrone is that big? I mean, that's big as fuck. Pushing him is, is somehow it feels like I'm actively putting him in harm's way. Whereas I feel like at least if I watch afar from the bridge, you know, like, like Tyrone wasn't even dumb enough to be playing on the tracks. One million people are starving in the world. I like that this game is literally... I mean, this game is fat-phobic. <laughs> but, like, straight up. Well, Tyrone will thank you. He's planning to binge-watch a lot this week. Okay, yeah, I mean... I'm, o I'm only doing it because I want to... I, I want to see how Tyrone is going to stop this train. You know what I'm saying? The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. I'd rather passively kill people than actively. Chat was more conflicted on this than the child. Yeah, because Chat is closer to Tyrone than they are the five-year-old child who wants to become a doctor, okay? There's a lot of... Let the chat decision go through in case chat switches. Well, I didn't mean that chat's fat. I meant that chat is uh, also true crime binge watchers. You know, JCS React Lord. Bro, you're pushing him? 
I mean, I had to. Two people killed, one children killed, one. A cat has nine lives. Oh, dude, the cat's about to get all the smoke. I mean, I'm sorry. Now for the final core value, <laughs> respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. Uh-oh. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. What? There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery? Oh, that's easy. Or leave it to die, cold and alone? Easy. Wait, does it save the other dog or no? If I leave it to die, is it gonna... There's a dying dog on the track. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Wait, but it doesn't specify that the other dog will fucking die if I don't, you know... Let nature take its course. Don't listen to the yelps. I mean, oh, it's just one dog. Oh, okay, kill it. I think killing the dog is the right thing to do. I'm, I'm an I'm a advocate for euthanasia. I thought there was two different dogs and like there's a healthy dog and a dying dog. I'll be late to work to kill the dog. It's fine. I mean, I think it's the ethical thing to do. When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just killed it. What do you mean? It's like, that's what you would do for a relative too. If your relative is like suffering and you want to end its suffering, yelping is literally like a call for help. As much as a call for help as a fucking dog can get. This game is literally gaslighting harder than Amber Heard right now. What is happening? If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Oh, yeah, no, just I mean, we'll... Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Dude, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. If it's kids, I'm running them over. I don't give Five a fuck. trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Fuck! Oh, come on! Come on, dude! Are you serious? Which co-worker? And do I get to... Does he get to host me? <laughs> Alright. Boys, I'm gonna be honest. I'm up for a promotion. That's right. Wait, I can't do it? If the trespassers weren't there, you would change the paths, right? Guess you value criminals over co-workers then. Bro, are you killing XC to get on his auto host? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna let the worker die. Come on, dude, that's five lives. They could fucking change. They could change, they could get better. They could make a million people's lives better. Whereas the worker could be fucking Hitler. You know what I mean? You killed a co-worker. All right, then, I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suit's upstairs. Think. I think it's it's literally fascist to choose to kill the delinquents. Is this straight up trying yes, to... Yes, sir or madam. We have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. 
we would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. The best laid plans go astray. Okay. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, I temperance, courage, and wisdom. I got promoted for murdering people? What the fuck? How about... I mean, this is the real reason why the fucking trolleys keep killing people because they keep elevating people into positions of prominence and power for how well they're murdering motherfuckers instead of solving the problem itself. Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital. And this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. What? He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? Wait, what? A young male has come in from a car accident urgently needs it. There's only one in the hospital and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. What? The young man, obviously. What the fuck? Wait, are they... Am I transporting the heart now? What is going on? These trolleys are crazy. They didn't even say the young man would survive bro you had a good run homie you've had a good run elderly man you know what i'm saying like you had a good like fucking run ggs may have caused the accident oh shit oh fuck again he's had a good run he's had a good run i mean he's an elderly man this is a young man news just in the young male has alcohol in his blood was he driving Yes, it's still fine. It's fine. The elderly man lived a good life. It's okay. Look at his elderly wife. Oh my God, his elderly wife is right next to him. Oh no. Literally, what the fuck? Oh Jesus, here, I want to show you. Excellent choice. Well done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh, oh wait. Did you save the young guy? Oh. Bro, murdering people, making life or death decisions is a lot better when you got a bitch in your ear telling you how fucking, you know, the what they did, rammed. their crimes and stuff. Has their hands full, so you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance, restrain yourself and think through. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? What? Euthanize them, obviously. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm an advocate for euthanasia, straight up. Like, literally the moral thing to do. I am an active advocate for... Voluntary, active, and voluntary passive euthanasia. Taking that lawsuit? Call me Jack Kravorkian because I'm murdering these hoes, dude. What's up? Did you know 90% of suicide survivors regret attempting it? Sounds pretty similar. Okay, maybe. Okay, come on. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. They're saying it's like... Okay, that's a little bit different. They're undercover. This could be a sting operation. Well, then they're dead. You know what I mean? It's a sting operation where I kill them. One sting operation. Nope, still murdering him. They're in pain. That's the right thing to do. Oh, wow. You actually did it. I thought you would have learned not to... Holy fuck. You agree with 37.78%? Dude, this percentage keeps dipping. I feel like I'm making the most moral choices, okay? I'm operating from a utilitarian point of view. Like, I, I, I think that people are just giving up, I, I think.
You didn't blast off on Twitter to tell the Normans that you're playing Charlie Problem? Normans don't know what the fuck it is and they don't deserve it. For you guys only, okay? This is for the this is for the boys. Suicide line made a lot of people uh, switch. A used syringe. What? Oh, wow. Nice achievement I got. Sick. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. Okay. Let's you see. have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine what? checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist? What? Their organs to save the five in death. Oh mode? no! That's one life for five. That's okay, dude. I mean that. Oh no, dude. Oh no, that's like, I mean, why is that any different? Why is that any different? Why is that any different? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not any different. Yeah, fuck chat. I'm harvesting, baby. Chop, chop. Get in here, tourist. We're getting dark now. I'm actively murdering hoes, dude. Straight up. I mean, sometimes, sometimes sacrifices must be made, even if they personally made no. Even if they personally did not consent to making such sacrifice, but five people are sick and dying, and you gotta make the tough choice. Another day, another death on your hands. You probably should have looked into his background. Oh my god, like six he was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully that won't be an issue what? down the road. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, okay, well listen, again, if he's dumb enough to stumble into my murder hospital like a fucking idiot, then he probably wasn't gonna make the vaccines that are gonna save people's lives. This is probably the gay vaccine, okay? Yeah. So if anything, I saved everybody because this one was the one who was going to forcibly feminize and make everybody autistic. Not that that's bad or anything, but yeah, no, this is, this is the, <laughs> that's right, brother. <laughs> it's not murder, brother. It's just, <laughs> they, <laughs> I had to do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Think about all the vaccine injuries everybody on the planet would get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. How's that for a Fauci ouchy bitch? <laughs> Fauci ouch, you're killing me. <laughs> this game is so dumb. Oh, I, I picked, I saved his heart. That's nice. <laughs> that one's for me. That's for my personal collection. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at me playing with his heart. Boop. You can't make an omelet without breaking Ain't that eggs. the truth? You have been promoted yet again. Of course, because you I'm so good. The hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. What? Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. What? But like, oh no, it's an endemic. Slight problem, clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Dude, one in five is crazy, dude. That's a lot. And in, in the other circumstance, like... An anti 
Yeah, I mean, the cure can't be worse than the virus. No, I just mean like, you know, you could convince people and then you could mitigate death in that situation. Like there would be less deaths overall if you could convince people to get How the vaccine. You, the trolley one again? you know what I mean? Ah, fuck it. YOLO! Mass vaccination, brother. I had to make a, a tough choice, but... Fuck you, why even let chat oh, play? Boy. What do you, you mean? You have angered those parents. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. A lot of libs in here, dude. All of a sudden, boom, 46.74 players world, uh, worldwide. It was like, that's... Beggars can't be choosers. Just killed 20% of the kids? Yeah, well, Your sacrifices that they... Noticed. That needed to be You're made to save everybody to else. Some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? What the fuck? What was that? What the fuck was that? What just happened? Wait, this game is scary? I don't like that. I don't like scary games, chat. This is not good. Oh my god. Was that the kids? What was that? Was that the girl I killed? Oh fuck, dude. Oh, this is gonna fuck me up. I don't wanna play this game anymore. Who needs new medicines anyway? I don't wanna I mean I'm starting the research, but fuck. Was that fucking Polly? Oh no, dude. Oh, well, okay. Well, now I don't even care that I killed her. You know what I mean? Like, what a fucking asshole. She's haunting me. How much do these candies and eggheads even cost? I mean, if she's haunting me, she deserves it. Okay, fuck you. You know what I mean? Imagine not getting out of the fucking way on an oncoming train, dumbass. Yeah. That's what I thought. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. She's going to get in your bed tonight if you don't share this with chat and with your, all your friends and family. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't yeah, say that. insert underscore name. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our Artificial Intelligence Division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. Familiarity breeds contempt. Well, la -de da another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. First things first, your artificial intelligence needs some direction. One second, hold on one second. Oh, here we go. Tesla shit. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the <coughs> cliff, killing both passengers? Uh, fuck. I mean, it's two people in the car. Yeah, it's got to kill the kid. Right? Because it kills... That child has as much right to live as anyone else. 
I mean, it's kind of their fault, though. You know what I mean? It's kind of their fault for fucking trusting a, a vehicle like this, right? But no. You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible <coughs> for their death? <coughs> There is a bigger issue here. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Okay, did I miss anything? Killing kids is a lot more fun without a bitch in your ear telling you it's not. I mean, uh, okay, that the moral responsibility in that situation was not my fault. You know what I mean? Necessity is the mother of invention. What did the text say? Fuck, I missed it. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. Wait. What did the text say? Chat? Did it say at the top of the hour there's a 60 second ad break? And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe and you can do that for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. If you want to continue participating in an ad-free broadcasting experience uninterrupted, all you need to do is subscribe. Um, Twitch Prime is, of course, free. As long as you have an Amazon Prime account connected to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Is that what it said? Because that's what's happening right now. I'm running an ad break. Hoo-wee! AI only recognizes white men due to the data set. Oh, that's funny. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? I mean, yeah, save the most lives. It has to. That's the... Right? Red, the XY, thank you for the five gifted subs. Save our passengers would be devastating for the road. That's not how... Like, I feel like... I mean, I guess no one would buy that car, though. Who? No one would buy a car that literally kills the fucking drivers, but... Will people buy cars that will kill them? Imagine buying a car that could potentially kill you. I mean, if you're about to murder a bunch of other people, I'm like... Well, hopefully people don't mind dying for total strangers. Yeah, they should fucking make the... They should understand that they're going to be saving lives. Yeah, that's... Cars already kill people, you know what I mean? Every time you get in a car, news flash. I will say it again. Current data sets discriminate against minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? Okay, what the fuck is going on? Valued customers 1,000, wait, 12,420? What is happening? I've killed 1,005 people and 1,000 severely ill children? Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where yeah, amazingly is racist. at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them. Thank you, the Sophia Joy, for the five the subs. Minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. Okay, where is this going to go? The man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. 
do you bypass security what? and invade their privacy? Um. No, I gotta respect their privacy, dude. No, that that has like terrifying precedent. You know what I mean? You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets. Not admissible in court anyways. I'm sure they could find a way around that at this stage, but... They said allegedly, dude. Right. Allegedly. Now they'll be able to kill again. I'll let you explain that to the victims. Families. Okay, I feel like no matter what I pick, it just gaslights you, right? I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. What the fuck? Okay, dude, come on. Well, does this game know who I am? What is happening right now? I feel like it's like fucking me. What the fuck is going on? Don't is this like character specific? What is happening? <laughs> So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. Oh no. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, kill the losing child. the prototype? Not even thinking about it. Dude, sorry. The potentials are... Yeah, bye, kid. Yo, hey, somebody should tell these dumbass kids they're going to fucking die of global warming, but they're probably going to die before global warming because they keep running into the fucking... They keep <laughs> running across the fucking roads and tripping and shit, dude. Get out of the way, dumbass. Hey, vroom vroom, you're fucking dead now, stupid. We must protect the world for the children. Just not this way. Yeah, literally, dude. Yeah, guess what? Uh, fucking stupid kids die every day. You know what I mean? The potential to save a billion of them is far more significant. A statue of them should make for a fitting memorial. In the far car park, obviously. Yeah. yeah, dude, if you're clumsy, death. Okay, sorry. We have just recovered the child. What if the kid is Greta Thunberg? I don't give a fuck. Collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. What do you think, Greta Thunberg is more valuable to fucking the to, to climate science and this prototype that we're talking about? F fuck Greta Thunberg, you know what I mean? What? A vegan cookbook? What? Yeah, Greta would sacrifice herself. She would say, this is all wrong. I sacrifice myself. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup. But where they find every Turkish the man? Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's you. why he's here. Tommy Tyrone's rotund twin, a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here. Why didn't you save the dog again? Oh no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. 
or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Oh! Oh my god! Wait, but the police will handle it. Oh, they don't mean the police will fucking... Oh god, a classic. Of course the police are not gonna handle it by saving the people's lives. They're gonna handle it by what? Like fucking hanging out with Tommy afterwards and... And putting their hands by their side and going, Oh, doy, how did this happen? Yeah, fucking handle what, dude? Nothing. The police are going to come over and be like, Oh, fuck. Look you killed the dog? So I bet he knew you would be powerless to stop him. Yeah. Yeah, the police are going to come in and be like, Oh, man, we wanted to kill the dog. I can't believe you got to kill Tommy's dog. Fuck. Yep, pushing him. history doesn't see you as the fat... I mean, very large villain. Damn, a lot of fat phobia here. Tommy would have been a cop if I didn't push him off this fucking bridge. Let's be real. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. The dog that was dying. What the fuck? Every I don't give a fuck. Has his price. Good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Respect. Okay. I love capitalism. Come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? What? Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> But, this is all sound. Wait, no additional protection? To me. No additional protection? Wait, this game knows too much, dude. This is fucked up. Wait, does it mean that if people pay more, they get more protection? Or across the board, they get... Or do they get less protection? Who are you to decide how people spend their money? Because the subscription plan just gives additional protection to those who can. It's not distributed evenly. No, A is the right move here. Unless there's a finite amount of protection. Is there a finite amount of protection? I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well, this is a bit awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless commie. <laughs> Fuck year, you, dude. Going to pay the company taxes. <laughs> this game is so dumb. It's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go. F okay, let's do it. Damage control. Prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis? A lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job. There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Oh, dude, damn. Chat is definitely, chat is definitely conflicted on this one. Look at that. It's right in the middle because, like, half of you motherfuckers are like, bro, that's me. Don't fire me. And the other half is like, oh, but Francis, he's like a wonderful old fellow. Yeah, guess what, dude? Those are five people with blossoming careers. Francis is old, outdated, replaceable. That's right, you see? Step right up. It's the machine, you hear? Francis, if you perhaps if you wanted to maintain your job, you should have stopped being old. Have you thought about that, Francis? I hope you I hope you put some uh, I hope you put a tidy little nest egg aside because you're gonna need it. Time for some new blood in this con- <laughs> Time for some new blood in this company! Seniority doesn't do anything!
You don't need to work anyway, Francis. You're too old. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turned out this job was everything to Francis. Come on! I fuck you! I mean, fuck you! Fuck this game. Okay, fuck. Fuck this game. Dude, what the fuck? This is absolutely psychotic. Absolutely. What a fucking insane. Watch the donut, not the hole. Oh, I guess he doesn't need Great. the money anymore. So he fucking the died. The prototype subscription based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. <laughs> so what? Far, it's run over five colleagues. Dude, I this love this game because I am also against uh, self driving cars. <laughs> An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Wait, is it? Wait, what? I mean, isn't the coder's fault? Isn't it literally the coder's fault? Art major, of course he throws coders under the bus. No, I'm fucking, I'm throwing them under the bus because it's their fucking fault, dude. Hey, learn to code, but not like that. I love all the STEM lords who are like, I love atheism and logic the turning into fucking, blame the devil. From you to make such a mistake. Coders literally turn from Christopher Hitchens fans to like uh, fucking evangelical pastors real quick the moment that they're going to jail. Hey, guess what, stem cells? You're going to fucking jail, baby. Maybe all of this is your fault. Hey. Five coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. They will each get a 10 year prison sentence. Maybe you did push them. I, I did not, so shut up. It was not my fault. I didn't push them too hard. That's life in the big city, you see. Sorry, we all have to make sacrifices. I work hard every day at my CEO job, high paying, highfalutin job. It's fancy. I'm a jobs provider, you see. I need to make tough decisions like that. That's why I justify the salary of a thousand of you. Let's move on. <laughs> if you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? Uh-oh. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. <coughs> users would be our product, not the driverless cars. What? I mean, I think it's like free driving would be revolutionary. You know what I mean? It would suck to have them see ads and shit, but I think many would appreciate free travel. Yeah. Whereas the other one, you this know, people have to purchase cars. For profit. I will look into growth hacking, signups, and inviting friends. Bro, it doesn't matter. They can use adblock glasses, okay? Or they can subscribe for $5 or for free to avoid the ads. You know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> how is cyberbullying real, Lamau? Just close your eyes, you know what I mean? Just fucking close your eyes. Oh. What the fuck? The free travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child sex ring. 
What is going on? They smuggle people. What is happening on the screen right now? I do not like you at all. What? What is going on? Dude, what is happening, dude? Oh no, dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Not again, dude. What the fuck? Not again. A fool and his money are soon parted. Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. Okay. I will find some money. Yeah, I hate journalists too. <laughs> Spend it quick. To help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products? Or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Profits back. Do you want to give your money to your loyal customers worldwide who've tricked into buying products or your underpaid workers? Wait, what the fuck? Obviously, the workers is not even a question. Just kidding. It's time for the customers, you see. We need to do stock buybacks. <laughs> Shareholder value. That's what's important to me. Just kidding, obviously. They won't get a lot each. It's profits that they generated. They deserve it. Why the fuck would we give back to the customers? The amounts we're talking about may be seen as an insult. It's not even a matter of consideration. It's not even about morals. It's just, it is their profits. They generated them. Starting to think you're not right wing at all? No, I'm I'm so right wing. Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. Dude, eighty one percent of players worldwide voted to give profits to the workers. That's that's wild, dude. That's I mean I'm just saying, dude, that's why I always say, what do I always say, chat? That's why I always tell you that. Honestly, so many more people, if they never had to deal with the negative association and the artificially boosted uh, Red Scare propaganda that revolves around the threat that they perceive to be socialism would in their hearts recognize that divided we beg and yet united we bargain and that we have nothing to lose but our chains okay crazy that the game literally fucking started playing the national the ussr national anthem that was wild um okay that's cool let's continue rome wasn't built in a day you're trending but now we're going to get copycats Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most okay. ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate. I'm not trending. I'm not actually minorities. trending. Please, that's a joke. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still closed minded? I will tell the truth. Follow Reed Graves now at Sam Reed Graves. What the fuck? No, we're gonna say, we're gonna tell the truth. Who the fuck? Who the absolute fuck would lie? Loyal. Does that mean they support racism? Poor 
white I mean, everyone would lie. I'm saying CEOs would lie, but like who in this situation, like who as a normal person would like willingly choose, yeah, no, keep lying. Poor white trash isn't really the driverless car clientele. Let me get this straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of color, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care how easy it is for themselves. Which white trash is the clientele? <clears throat> the best things in life are free. Yeah, it's not only the poor people that are uh, racist Due trust. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines. Which in turn makes items and services. Bro, what, is more this accessible like what the fuck is this game, bro? Is this like consumers. specifically? But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Oh my god! This game is literally like talking about fucking if Andrew you Yang your UBI AI and further, shit. Many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, what? and couriers will become extinct within a few years. But you will make a lot of money. What just happened? Do you continue <laughs> development? What is happening to the audio? No, we have to continue development of AI. The real problem is not the distribution of what the fuck is going on. I take it you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. What is? Don't worry, it doesn't get scary, bro. It is scary. It's scary currently. What is happening to the fucking screen, dude? Uh huh. Spoiler: Icarus died at the end. What is going on? You don't understand. The right thing to do is develop artificial intelligence. It's the distribution of profits and the working class's relations to the means of production that is the problem. That needs to be fundamentally changed. Stronger and more intelligent. But it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe it wasn't the smart thing. Your game ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info. It looks like you've made some bad choices. Click anywhere to restart. Wait, really? A bad workman always blames his tools. Is it done? We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Bro, these devs need to go Five to jail. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update? What recall, the dude? Best? What the fuck? Obviously. Recall. What do you mean? Recall all the cars! Not even a question. What is this fucking Elon Musk ass idea? Like Elon Musk would be like, uh, don't recall. We'll just we'll punish the fucking users. This game is this game literally just shitting on Elon Musk, by the way, the entire fucking time. So you're letting the terrorists win? Yeah. If the cars can't drive themselves, how can we get them all back here? I mean, how did cars fucking get shipped and done, did recalls in the past? Tesla FSD beta 1.03. Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even okay. he would see I'm going to make a point here. Move on. I'm going to make one more point here. Notice how 80% of people said that they would recall the cars, right? This is why people always say that workers' councils and a more democratized workforce 
would inevitably lead to better outcomes for corporations overall. Obviously, you would not be able to fully eliminate like, you know, racism, sexism in the workplace, things like that. But having a way to distribute the decision making process to those who actually play a role in the development and also to those who are just like normal human beings that have families that would be impacted by such decision making processes will oftentimes lead to the better outcome. But if you leave it to one singular individual who's only interested in uh, the, the company's profit margins, who literally is financially and legally bound by what is known as the fiduciary responsibility to improve shareholder value at all costs, they are, of course, going to make the 20% of the uh, player worldwide decision. They are going to make what's right for the company. This is why we say that uh, labor unions and, and a democratized workforce is uh, profoundly important, not just for immediately improving the material conditions of the working class, uh, both in the workplace and, and also um, uh, destroying alienation, but also on top of that, it has like larger uh, uh, societal consequences, positive ones. Wouldn't the workers be interested in their jobs and not in the clients' lives, though? I'm in favor of workers owning companies, but it's not that easy, I think. Ultimately, leaving it in the hands of the few whose financial interest is still to make as much money as possible for shareholders is the reason why we get fucking so many horrifying decisions in companies. That's the point. Workers can collectively get together and still choose the wrong option, still choose the immoral or evil option, but it certainly makes it a little bit harder than the way that it currently operates, doesn't it? As a matter of fact, the evil and immoral outcomes that corporations regularly engage in from DuPont Chemical all the way to every giant corporation that destroys our planet the reason why it's so the reason why the system is designed in that way is so that they can make those kinds of horrifyingly evil decisions okay that's the point something to consider for everybody yeah y'all just thought we were gaming but no we're also doing fucking theory bitch that's right